Hi everybody, it's April. Um, I hope that you are all having a wonderful holiday season so far. We've got our first snow in, so we um, were actually snowed in yesterday. I tried to get my car out of the driveway and um, slid sideways. I'm an inexperienced snow driver being from Florida, so it wasn't very fun, I'll tell you that. But the plows came out today, so amen for that. <laughs> it's beautiful though. I'll try to post a couple photos of uh, what it looks like around here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I went up and uh, cleaned off my bird feeders so all the cardinals came out and that was just so beautiful. Um, again, I'll try to throw in some photos for you to look at really quickly or at the end. Um, I'll put them at the end. Okay, anyway, I am working with the 6x6 paper pad of the Doodle Bug Designed uh, Milk and Cookies. And also I have the um, See, it's called Odds and Ends of the Doodlebug, uh, Doodlebug Milk and Cookies. It goes with the paper pad. And then I just pulled a couple of papers from this um, paper studio, Furry and Bright, that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. So I just wanted to show you that because I did use a couple of papers from here. But I'm just quickly putting together some cards for the kids, and I thought I would get on camera and share with you as I finish putting these together. Let me put him there so it'll focus. Sorry about that. Okay, so with the um, uh, card bases, I just am using a standard A2 size card, which is uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. And I cut up some MFT cardstock that I had in my stash. So I'm working with a craft card base. This one is top folding. And then uh, this is one of the papers in the paper pad. It's just really pretty with candy canes and gumdrops and I just thought that was super cute. So we'll put this one together really quickly. Let me zoom you down. There we go. Hopefully you can see a little bit better there. So um, yeah, I just thought I would uh, share putting some of these together. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 12 videos done for Christmas. Uh, we just have had so much going on. Um, where is my tape? Ethan is sick again. He got, um, this one's permanent. He's got some kind of bronchitis and sinus infection um, after just getting over mono. So uh, it hasn't been very fun. He's woken me up every single night for the last three nights with a severe migraine, um, which you know how hard it is for us to deal with that. So you can imagine a 11 year old boy. So I'm just going to um, tape this down to the card front and then I'm going to pop up my little gingerbread guy and I had this, um, there was a bunch of like strips, like just paper strips in the paper pad, like one of the papers was a bunch of sentiment. So I cut off the one that says goody goody gumdrops and I'm going to just tape that across the front. Let me see, I still need to get some smaller um, like score tape, like the thinner one. So I think I'm gonna just line that up on my card, on my grid paper here, and try to go about one third. Of, you know, not halfway, but a little bit below that. So we'll see if I can get that semi straight on there. Yeah, I think that's okay. And we'll trim off that excess. So yeah, so Ethan's not doing too well. He's really been having a hard time recovering. We were snowed in, um, so all the all the offices and places around here are closed. But I'll probably try to get him back into the doctor on Monday. Um, Kaiser was supposed to be coming here. Um, he just had surgery on a. Oh my goodness, a hematoma, and he had some seizures and wasn't doing very well. The in-laws were going to bring Kaiser to me because they're going to Hawaii um, for two weeks. So um, now those plans have kind of been altered, so I don't think Kaiser will be here until they'll have to take him to Raleigh to my brother-in-law's. And then um, my husband will be off work and he'll fly into Raleigh 
um, take the in-laws car and drive Kaiser here on Tuesday hopefully so I'll update you guys on how he's doing um, it's been kind of he's just really really weak he hasn't really recovered too well from that from that procedure um, so I'm gonna put my little gingerbread guy oh I can see some of that foam I don't want him to look like he has anything between his legs <laughs> Oh, goodness me. All right, so I just love Doodlebug. Doesn't it always put you in such a good mood? So, oh, look, he's still got a little thing hanging between. Oh, which way is the camera? See, he's got a little thing hanging from his, from his legs. It's a piece of that foam. All right, sorry, we're not, we're not being gender specific here, so we're gender neutral. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. All right, let me pull this up. That's going to just bother me. Anywho, I don't think gingerbread, well, I guess they call them gingerbread men, so yeah. All righty then. Well, sorry, dude. <laughs> All right. Let me get a sharper scissor. There we go. Okay. I know you guys can barely see that, but I can. It kind of bothers me. Hold on. I just think at this point it's just the paper is torn. Okay. So here we go. Let's put him over here. Oh, do you want to do that? Maybe I'll put him kind of slanted. Hold on, guys. This is going to really bother me, so i got to take this foam off. why I'm seeing that. Where is my file? My file, my file. I'll use my little knife. Alright. So I'm going to put him this way. It's still bothering me. It's just cut. But maybe we can put something over that. Okay. Just ignore that that whole thing happened. All right, and then I found these little gumdrops. They're just like a vellum, um, like a vellum gumdrop. So I thought I would like post those up, but I don't know how I'm going to put them on because they are, you know, they're vellum. So let's see if we can use maybe a blue dot. I don't know. Maybe I can hide it. So it's supposed to be super quick. To do these cards, but of course I have problems. I always have <laughs> difficulties. I don't know where my little scissors went. Well, I guess I'll use my um my little blade again. But um yeah, so anywho, trying to get my Christmas cards done, but um honestly this is the first time I've I started playing around with this last night, and then I was immediately I was called upstairs, so I knew that wasn't going to go. Um, let me see if this little glue dot will hold it enough. So I'm trying to get some stuff done. Yeah, you can't really see that dot, so that'll work. A little glue dot. Um, but I just thought these were really cute. I'm, you know, I like these gum drops on here, so. Just going to take a little tiny um, glue dot on the back, get that out of there. And slap that down. And then we got one more. A little slippery. I'm listening to my son upstairs coughing. Okay, so I'm going to put those like that and go in with some of these, which I think I just got at the Dollar Tree. So I thought I would slap some of these on there. I really wish I knew what I did with my tweezers. They went, oh, here they are. Okay. So we have blue, pink, and red, which the red doesn't really coordinate, but I thought since the sentiment looks a little red, you know, 
we shall do that. I wish I had pink pink, but all right, I'm going to use a blue one. And kind of, let's see, where do I want to go? I'll go right about there. We'll use a pink one about here. And what other color do we want to do? I guess it doesn't really matter. We could do like a Do, 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 do. Yeah, that was pink. I'll try the red one down here. Oh, it looks more orange to me. I don't know. Oh well. So we'll do that and call that one done. Super little cute card. Goody goody gumdrops. Okay, so that's card one. And I'm going to move on quickly to. The next design was using a red card base. This was the cardstock from the other paper pad, the furry and bright. And then I picked out some other paper and kind of cut it at an angle. So this is going to be my sky. And this is going to be like a little um, grounding or rooftop, shall we call it. And yep, yeah, I just want to make sure I am on the right one. Okay, so let's see here. Maybe I could put this one down first. <clears throat> All that glue on my paper. Okay. So the red card base, again, is from MFT. And it is cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'll just get that on there, and then we'll do this attach our little rooftop and I did cut this with the coordinating Simon Says Stamp Stitch shapes. I don't have like um, a set of the rectangular stitch dies. I just have, um, it's called, yeah, Stitch Shapes by Simon Says Stamp. So I just cut it with the same shape that I did the rectangle there. So I'm going to bring in Santa. Oh, I should have put him behind there a little bit. Let me see if I can pull this up. Pull that up just a little bit so I can get Santa in there. Okay. I'm going to bring him in there. See if I can get that lined up. Right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in a little puppy dog, and this is, both of these are from the Doodle, uh, Doodle Bugs odd and, Odds and Ends. Okay, so where did my little foam, I found some foam squares, but now I don't know where they went, so let me just use that 3M foam tape again, and we'll pop the little doggy up in front. If you guys got this paper pad and the die pack or not, but I just thought, well, let me, you know, because I'm making these for the kids, so I thought I would share, you know, some inspiration in case you haven't made one or used it yet. Maybe you would like to throw some cards together really quickly, you know. Um, it really goes together quick as far as uh, design wise, too, because all of the colors, you know, coordinate. You could use any of the papers and um, if you were to flip over the other side, you know, then you would have a coordinating color that would go with it. I'll show you on the next card what I'm talking about. So I'm going to bring little puppy over here. So he is Santa's little reindeer. And then on that same paper pad, um, again, I was talking about strips. This one says, have a holly jolly Christmas. And I'm just going to bring it right above the little guy's head and put it there. I'm not sure. I think I'll try to find some thin foam tape. Maybe I could do a really thin strip. Let me see. Um, I'll just cut a little bit here. 
I'm going to make it a little bit thinner so we can get it on there. Okay, so anyhow. Okay. Bring this one in. Bring our sentiment over here. come in with some of these little same gems and we have some red and greens and blues in the um, paw prints on the on the um, paper pad here so I'm just going to kind of go around with some of these colors. We've got a green and a blue and let's see we have a different colored green So I just put a few different colors. I probably should have used more blues, but you could embellish it however you want with some, um, you know, Nouveau drops. You could add some of that little. Let's do that really quickly. I'll add some of that snow marker if I can find what I did with that. Where are you, snow marker? Okay. Well, I don't know where. Oh, here it is. Let's see if I don't ruin the card. I was going to try it on his hat, just to make it look a little puffy. We'll see what happens. We can do little puppy dogs. That was a big, big air bubble on there. Let's see if I can pop it. Okay, so then with that, all you do is just heat it up. Sorry about the noise. close. I just put some texture on his pom-pom and the little doggies. So cute, right? Okay, so that's card two. And we'll work on the last one here. This is using a white card base with MFT cardstock. Let me sit back down. And see how the back of the pattern is, you know, double-sided that, you know, it will coordinate. All right, which side am I on? Okay, so again, using an A2. Oh, what's happening? I don't know what I did. Darn it. There we go. Just wasn't pressing hard enough. And this one is going to be a uh, landscape. Okay, and then just come in here. Try to eyeball that. And then I'm going to take the opposite side of that paper. Again, I cut it with the, um, you know, die to try to match the stitch lines. And I'm just going to bring this in, line it up. Go. And this 
one I'm going to use the um, little uh, die cut from the pack. I'm going to pop that tree up. see. <laughs> I'm going to have to start wearing my glasses. Oh my. Okay. I'll do that. And a little piece over here on this side. Okay. I'm going to get that popped up. Getting a little bit more comfortable working with paper pads. All right, so let me see. Just had to trim some of that tape off. Okay. So bring it in right about here. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in another one of the little characters, the little kitty cat. And we will pop him up too. Okay, there. And then I found a sentiment that just says, We wish you a Merry Christmas. I'll adhere that flat to the card. Okay, and then with this one, what I thought I would do to embellish it is we could take these gems and put them all over the tree, you know, with uh, coordinating colors. But I had purchased these Nouveau glow in the dark um, drops and I wanted to try that with these cards. Um, so I probably will go with, this one was glow in the dark banana split. This one's glow in the dark apple sour. Glow in the dark shocking pink and glow in the dark blue crush. So I thought I would try these. I haven't used them yet. I've been wanting to use them on some Christmas lights. So I thought let's give it a go on this tree for the ornaments. And then whoever the recipient is, you know, they can they can um, you know, try to see if it'll actually glow in the dark. Actually, you know what? First, let me do his little pom pom. So I'm not putting heat on here or having to pick it up once I have, you know, once I'm getting the Nuvo drops on there. Okay, so let me heat this up. One second. A little bit of noise. So as soon as I see it puffing up, I'm backing off the heat so it doesn't singe it. Ask me how I know. Looks like it's toasted if you do it too long. Okay, so let's put some Nouveau drops on here. So I like the consistency of these. It's almost like the the jewel drops. So that's nice. All right. All 
Our hand looks really cute. Little green one. Alrighty. So if I was brave, I would try and make a star shape with the yellow one, but I am not. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Wink of Stella on the star. And we'll see how that turns out. That way I have a little bit of shimmer coming from the star. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that, but um, yeah, so that's it on this one. Obviously, it has to sit, but let me show you up close. So, three quick cards using the Doodle Bug Milk and Cookies paper pack. And then we did um, one, one card where we used the uh, other paper from Hobby Lobby. And let me show you here. Okay, and then the last one here was the Santa with his little friend. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me zoom you out, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.